If you're just now waking up and you know, turning on your TV, I don't think you could start off your morning any better than this. A beach sunrise here, a beautiful shot there out at Rehoboth. I just had to share it. 62 degrees out there, so maybe if you don't have any plans today, head down to the beach. Beginning of October, you wouldn't think you needed sunscreen. Right. Two hours out there, <laughs> my neck and face were beginning to get fried. Oh, man. So even though it's not the middle of you know, the summer, right. the you sunscreen still can it. still work. We can thank this high pressure system for all that sun and hopefully drier weather today. It's just circulating in a lot of drier Canadian air from our north, keeping us dry and out of the muck here state, and that will carry on throughout much of the day tomorrow. So if you're planning on getting any outside yard work done tomorrow, probably not your best bet. I could definitely see Chief Eric Finkenbinder getting out there on, on the water ski. I think we might have to set that up out on the Susquehanna here one of these times. There's no snow in the near forecast, but we are expecting whiteout conditions here this Saturday evening inside Beaver Stadium as Penn State prepares to take battle against the Michigan Wolverines. That's what matters. I feel like deli meat turkeys just cheating a little bit. I know. You're not getting the full effect. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer tomorrow afternoon. The humidity will have increased, raising those chances of some storms passing through. And so whether you're outside soaking up the hot sun or bundling up for a day in the snow, don't forget about your furry friends. Now, I do know the pumpkin spice lattes are coming back to Starbucks this week, so I think maybe these cooler temperatures might be a precursor for that. You need some of those cooler uh, fall-like temperatures before you can get the pumpkin spice lattes. The flooding that's happening in North Carolina and Virginia, this system is slowly going to trek its way towards us now. Not to worry, we're not going to have all that much flooding. Not a lot of rain is going to be coming from this system moving through, but we could see anywhere between half to maybe a full inch of rain. In this morning's cool car, Dennis Buderbaugh checks out the Nissan Kicks. But as we look towards the weekend, then I think things will generally clear out and should be a pretty nice weekend here. Do I see a little mini heat wave coming back again? Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. I think I'll have to get on that on a Friday night. All right, okay. Still August. You know I love my Bryce little Bryce Harper wave. just did a two-run home run for the Phillies against the Cubs. There Thanks we go. For, Thanks for watching ABC 27 News at 7. I really do think we have lucked out here in the mid-state uh, today and we'll really continue to do so tomorrow then as well. It has been absolutely gorgeous weather, somewhat untypical for this time of year, especially in late August. Beautiful shot out there over Upper Dolphin Area High School there in Elizabethville. A little bit of a northerly breeze, but really making out for a fantastic evening. 72 degrees currently there. Now, I did have some people messaging in earlier about uh, some darker clouds out and about, and if there was a chance of any rain, well, the good news is there is no rain for tonight or for tomorrow either. Doppler radar is staying clear here for the next couple of days. The rain that we did see on Friday has pushed off to the coast and to our south, allowing more cooler, drier, and sunnier weather to move into the region here. So as we take a look at current temperatures, 72 degrees in Carlisle, 73 in York, and 74 here in Harrisburg. Now I do know the pumpkin spice lattes are coming back to Starbucks this week, so I think maybe these cooler temperatures might be a precursor for that. You need some of those cooler uh, fall-like temperatures before you can get the pumpkin spice lattes. Now dew points also a lot more com comfortable compared to what we saw this past week. It was very hot and humid, looking much more comfortable compared to that now. Dew points staying in the upper 40s to lower 50s. And no rain is in sight here for the next couple of days, as precision casts will show. Tonight remains clear, as does the majority of the day tomorrow. Now, as we get into the uh, afternoon hours, you can see we do get a few clouds moving into the region due to a bit of an easterly flow then, but otherwise, no rain in sight, just a few passing clouds, and we will remain dry through Monday then. Do have temperatures remaining in the mid-70s for the next three days, so should have a couple nice days. I know some kids are just now heading back to school starting on Monday. Should have a nice day for that. Now, Tuesday, we could see a little higher density of clouds moving in along with some light drizzle due to that easterly flow. Could bring in some uh, moisture off the Atlantic coast. But Wednesday looks to be really our best chance for rain. A few scattered showers about. But otherwise, as we look towards the end of next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mostly sunny skies, temperatures ranging into the lower to mid 80s. I know Penn State football has their season opener next Saturday as the Jonas Brothers are also coming to Hershey Park Stadium next Saturday. So we have a nice uh, stretch of some fair weather here. That's good weather. I love it. Thank you, Ross.